It meant so much. It meant the people that supported me, the people that believed in me, my family, and just knowing that hard work pays off. She does have a point, doesn't she? While it may sound all high and mighty to some, she's not wrong, is she? Win or lose, she has already made a name for herself in the sport, and no one does not know the Shakari Richardson. That said, all eyes are on her, especially since the Paris Olympics is fast approaching. Shakari, for her part, appears more than ready to be there. In fact, she looked splendid at the Road to Paris Team USA Paris 2024 Olympic portrait shoot organized late last year at NBC Universal Studio stage in Los Angeles, California. The new 100-meter champion was wearing Team USA's race outfit paired with white sneakers, along with her unique long nails, and looked utterly dazzling as she posted for the photos. For the photo shoot, she was seen performing a few jumps, high knees, warm-up exercises, shoulder and leg stretches, taking a start, and a ramp walk. She was even seen doing a little dance at the end of the shoot. Soon after, photos of her training and preparing for her Olympics debut circulated on the web. Her resolve to clinch the Olympic medal in 2024 is colored by her determination to silence any doubts about her abilities. There are many of those, as you know. In fact, people seem to have an endless list of things to nitpick about when it comes to her. Sadly, though, Richardson is just one of many black women athletes, including Serena and Venus Williams, Coco Gauff, Angel Reese, Brittany Griner, and the late Florence Flojo Griffith Joyner, who have attracted intense scrutiny around, and been attacked for, their behavior during competition, interactions with reporters, flair for fashion, self-confidence, or rule-breaking in ways that other athletes have not. It almost seems like we have to be superheroes, Richardson told Teen Vogue in an interview. It's just irritating because you take away the abilities, you take away the speed, you take away the talent, and we're still human. With a bold personality and sense of style, she particularly catches attention wherever she goes. She received hate and criticism for being a black woman and a bisexual one at that. She also experienced intimate partner violence and parental abandonment, having grown up in largely impoverished South Dallas with her grandmother and aunt as caregivers. Despite it all, or perhaps because of everything she went through, she powered through until she became the fastest woman in the world after winning the women's 100-meter sprint at the track and field world championships in Budapest last August. From there, Shakari aims to continue her way to the top, and that would be claiming gold in Paris for starters. Notably, her ambitions for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games have been evident as early as 2021. In an Instagram story, the American track star shared a picture tagged in Paris, France, the home of the next Summer Olympic Games. With it, Richardson wrote, Paris 2024, history will be made. Mind you, she has set her eyes on the goal, Paris, just as she experienced a turbulent 2021 season. You all know what happened, but she has since bounced back from that. On that note, 2023 was a breakout year for the U.S. sprinter in many ways. Although, to be fair, she has been rewriting the record book since she was a teen, including setting the fastest collegiate 100-meter mark in history at age 19 with a time of 10.75 seconds that also made her the ninth fastest woman ever. Still, it was during the 2023 season that Richardson announced herself to the world. She now stands on top of the world as the USA's first women's 100-meter world champion since the late Tori Bowie in 2017, and only the second non-Jamaican since Carmelita Jeter in 2011. Her 10.65 at the Worlds was a true champion's performance as she pulled out her very best when it mattered most. As it turns out, the secret to her success throughout the season was consistency and development. In fact, of the eight fastest 100-meter times of 2023, Richardson owns five, with the earliest of those coming back in May when she ran 10.76 with the outdoor season still in its infancy. Furthermore, of her top five times during the year, four have come between July and August, and eight of her top ten also arrived during the month prior to the World Athletics Championships. And so, as she enjoyed a highly successful world championship in Budapest, it is no surprise that she is among the nominees for the 2024 Lorellis Sportswoman of the Year Award. On the Lorellis page, the organization highlighted Shakari's most notable achievements for the last season. 
This includes her winning the gold medal at 100 meters, where she beat Jamaica's Sharika Jackson and the great Shelly Ann Fraser Price. It was also highlighted that it was her first major individual international title where, in addition to bringing home the gold in the 100 meter, she also won bronze in the women's 200 meter final and on the penultimate day of the event, won a second gold as a member of the US team in the 4x100 meter relay final. The news of her nomination caused quite a stir amongst the fans. The American track athlete would face off against some of the world's most renowned athletes in this title battle. The list of nominees includes Spanish soccer sensation Aitana Bonmadi, Jamaican track star Sharika Jackson, Kenyan track star Faith Kipyegon, 95 times World Cup winner Michaela Schifrin, and current world number one tennis star Iga Schweintek. The viral clip posted by World Athletic's official Instagram account included footage from the World Championships back in Budapest, where Richardson stormed through the 100-meter race to defeat track giants like Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The post was captioned, Unstoppable. Anyhow, this was not the only time Shakari Richardson's name has been in the headlines this year. The 2023 World Champion was recently featured in a Nike S. Jacquemus collection. While the collaboration with Jacquemus will last till 2028, she is rocking the brand's apparel for now. Additionally, Richardson has been repeatedly featured in Nike campaigns and recently modeled for Jacquemus' swoosh bag, too. She was spotted in Nike's Runaway Anywhere campaign in September 2023. During the World Championships in Budapest, the 23-year-old was also seen wearing Nike's swoosh spikes. Her Instagram feed is also filled with photos from the shoot. She also posted a behind-the-scenes video which was well-received by many. In another post, Shakari shared, The little girl that was raised in South Dallas on the other side of town posted up in downtown Dallas, repping 214 anywhere I go. Unfortunately, those are the only pieces of news about Richardson so far this year. In fact, besides her post about the new Nike X Jacquemus collection, she has been fairly quiet online. This may be her heating track and field legend Usain Bolt's advice to talk less. This was in reaction to the American track star's vociferous approach to her suspension in 2021. Bolt told her, So just train hard and focus on that and try to come back, do it, and then talk about it. While she is training, behind the scenes, presumably, her strongest competitors have been expressing their desire to win a medal in Paris. Some are confident about it, too. Julian Alfred, a young athlete from St. Lucia, wants to make a name for herself and she also wants the world to know that her nation can produce great sprinters. Speaking to World Athletics, Alfred said, I don't really pay attention to the media, but I do have a lot of supporters back home who give messages to my family and they transfer to me. I definitely want a medal in Paris, a gold, silver or bronze in the 100 meter and 200 meter. Will we see Alfred achieve that feat? More so, will Shakari continue her dominance on the track? Well, we'll keep you posted. For now, here's another athlete many would like to see in Paris.